also, like I said, healing the way we deal with different opinions. Are y'all all right? This is a, this is a, this is a tough time, y'all. Is everybody got something to say about everything? How are you dealing with the people who don't agree with you? Maybe God's changing your perspective on how you deal with people. How do you kindly, politely disagree? How do you agree to disagree? How do you love people who do not see the things the way you see the things and are not doing the things that you know that they should do? How are you dealing with that? Let God heal and restore your perspective of these things. God's teaching us how to worship differently. We've never seen a time like this. We didn't know we could do church like this, but perhaps God is wanting to meet you in a different way. Maybe we're not, we're, maybe we're never going back to what we thought was normal. Maybe this is a new thing that God's doing in our hearts and in our souls. And God wants to meet you in your secret place. God wants to meet you in your quiet time alone. God wants to meet you in community through small groups online. But I don't want to go online. Well, we're going to have to go online. It's a new season. How is God dealing with your perspective? God's t teaching us and healing us about time alone. The pandemic, when we were in quarantine, a lot of people weren't used to being by themselves and having to be by myself. I can't keep my schedule full. I got to sit with me. I got to sit with my thoughts. I got to sit with the past. It became uncomfortable, but perhaps God is healing and restoring your uh, alone time with yourself and how you schedule your, your, your schedules and how do you take care of yourself and your self-care practices and how are you looking out for yourself? God is healing our perspectives. Are you open to God healing that part of how you see things? A healed and restored perspective.